Alright guys, Tom here, and welcome to the first ever episode or week of Subscribers Sunday. And basically, I'm going to be asking you guys to send me your videos through a YouTube personal message or a tweet at me on Tom Cushney, my Twitter account. And basically, just send me a video and I'll do an intro like explaining your channel and I'll just leave you to do the, the video that I've just taken from your channel and so my subscribers can see... Uh, basically what you can do on your videos and maybe they'll be interested in watching your videos so this is a video by Deraza Gamer, my personal friend actually so I decided to do this as the first week because I haven't actually put this out I haven't said that I'm doing it so he does FIFA videos he also does WWE videos he's been doing some really really good FIFA 13 videos so hopefully you enjoy head over to his channel and like the video as well thanks for watching and definitely subscribe to his channel it's really good thanks for watching and goodbye What's up guys, Darrow's a Gamer here, and this is episode 1 of my Cardiff City Cream mod. I picked Cardiff City because I thought that they would be a decent team to start my Cream mod off with. Now you can see it's in US dollars, but I do change that because I'm not from the US, I'm from England. <laughs> so now I change it to Sterling. I see the stadium named, they've named it Malton Road, so I decided to change that to the Cardiff City Stadium. Just because I, f I find it's more realistic if you like change it to the official names. That's what I did with FIFA 12 and I'll probably do that in FIFA 13. For some reason it took a while so I, I did have to cut quite a bit of that out. I don't have a clue why it took ages. I think it was quite hot there. Because <laughs> I was checking stuff but yeah. Um, right now FIFA 13 I've been playing it since yesterday and it's amazing. <coughs> it is in my personal opinion the best FIFA game ever just awesome I've yet to play all my team because I still haven't really got a team I'm starting I'm trying to build up my team which I'm starting off with Newcastle and as you can see I did start the European campaign straight away obviously not with Cardiff because well, cause Cardiff are in it yet <laughs> but I do plan on getting them into Europe and the Premier League. As you can see it started off with the wrong teams but then you have to press X to seed it then it has all the official teams that are currently in it. See Newcastle Group G Mint 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 <laughs> apparently got FC20 okay. But yeah I'm playing on world class half them five minutes at the Cardiff City Stadium. I find professional on FIFA 13 is a whole lot easier than it was on FIFA 12, which is awesome, but to be fair, I find world class n not that hard anymore. Um, eventually, I might change it to professional, but we'll have to just wait and see how this season progresses. Change it to crack, crack, tracksuit, and <laughs> navy, light, and slim. Kind of see you excited about future with Vaughns, so they should. <laughs> this this is where because you can actually read it. Not that you can read it to be honest. Oh, and I'm actually excited about that. I hope to get an international job, mainly with England. As from there, it says Fawn's talking for an opportunity on the international stage. Hopefully England, but I'm I'm not that fussed. Jump straight away. League objective. The Cardiff's board of directors want me to get promotion to the Barclays Premier League, and that's one thing that I'll do. I found out Craig Bellamy has broken his tailbone, which is kind of annoying. But apparently he could make, could return for the first competitive match, but won't be 100% fit, so he will not be playing that match. Fact. <laughs> Oops, that was awkward. <laughs> then next one, domestic cup. They want me to reach the quarterfinals. Should be not easy, but yeah. And now the transfer window is open. I. In this episode, I do show you the signings I've, I've um, signed so far, and plus um, a player I saw. And from this, I'm just changing the team. Obviously, because Craig Bellamy's out injured, I change him with Mua. Was that? I think I might change him for Harris. No, no, Noon, Non. <laughs> Can't pronounce that, but he probably won't even play for us. Not with the current signings I've made, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I put that and then I realised that Craig Bellamy is still on the subs bench and he won't be playing. Let's change him with, I think, Harris because I've 
see his pace is 86, so I thought, why not have Harris? There we go, 86, 83, 86. Pretty decent player. Now I just check other players. Other players, even. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. I just I speak properly. <laughs> Nicky Maynard, he's a good player. But the signing who I, the striker who I do bring in on his debut comes off the bench to score two goals, score a brace, which is pretty decent. And he already feels like he's going to be a, an amazing player for me. And you'll see who I sign first. As you can see, I brought in Sterling on loan from Liverpool. I'm actually excited about that just because I, I went to um, loan offers and saw he, he was a, he was set for a loan, and I was like, e easy getting him. He's overall rated 69, left winger, 17 year old. Then I bring in Joshua King. This is the player who I was talking about. Scored two on his. Davy for Cardiff, obviously in a friendly. I also bring in Sammy Amiobi from Newcastle United, my favourite team, so I obviously know. Then I also bring in, yeah, I can't pronounce that, but as I like to call him Biggie because that's like it's half of his name, but yeah. And then just my agent talking about international management, how I need to like be decent, and then Apparently Cardiff City tell Mason you're not needed anymore. So yeah, sorry about that mate. We do sell him to Leicester City. And this video is coming to an end. Please subscribe, comment and like. Bye.